Hey guys, just wanted to do another update. I called it back in 2016. I said 2017 was going to be the year of the return of retro. And that's exactly what we've been getting since the beginning of the year. Not even since since before the start of the year back in December when uh, Wild Guns Reloaded was scheduled to be released. I'm a little bit old. Uh, it's old news now. I'm a little bit late on reporting it, but I'm putting it out there for those who don't know. For those who may have missed it or don't know how to buy it or where to buy this game because... Uh, these games you will not find in Walmart, you won't find it in Best Buy, you gotta go to Amazon, uh, Play Asia. there's another retailer I forgot. You gotta go to specialty sources, even eBay. So, the, for those who don't know, this is, a, this is a remake of the original, in its original form, but remade wild guns game for the super nintendo they they stayed true to the exact super nintendo style of graphics they've since changed it and upgraded the graphics to 1080p but it's still 16-bit they um, expanded some of the levels made them a little bit wider so that you can play it on your widescreen tv without any issues and they added a lot of detail to the various levels uh, they even went as far as to add a new level and two additional characters and that's not even the best part as you can tell by this video you may just notice at the end there that there were four characters on the screen at the same time that dog and the robot are actually the same character uh so they made it four player and that is by far i i, could, I couldn't believe that they actually had the brains to actually do that because so many times when these companies try to remake games or re-release old games they they don't do what should have been done on day one. The Super Nintendo was capable of four-player with the multi-tap, and this game never did it. Um, a lot of games didn't do it back then. The multi-tap was not popular, so they didn't bother to do it. And they've rectified that. And not only that, the they've added a bunch of new moves as well with the additional characters. That robot dog... So what you do is you shoot with the robot... The dog is on my left hand side here. And but the dog is actually your hitbox. And what's interesting, he is the only character that you can actually move while shooting. All of the other characters you cannot move and shoot at the same time. You can roll if you want to dodge and shoot, but you cannot do them simultaneously. You have to stop shooting in order to move and run around. So yeah, that that dog is he can, he also has like uh he can fly on his robot. He's he's built for dodging. He's actually the best dodger in the game. Uh, I don't know maybe there's flaws in how powerful his weapons are or something. I don't know. Each of the characters is very unique. The uh, also that girl there in the green um she is kind of like your artillery unit. She's just buff heavy 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 damage but slow you know she you saw her using that power charge where she chucks out three or four grenades and this game here back in the day or they still do they call this um like a shooting gallery game or a crosshair shooter they're very rare they don't make them anymore they did back in the super nintendo era they did make these kind of games and they were popular, not super popular, but they were popular. I played them, look at Wild Guns. This game did amazingly well for not, you know, being a mainstream Nintendo Donkey Kong Country Super Mario type deal. And had a strong, strong cult following. It's one of the most expensive games on the in retro game collecting for the Super Nintendo for a reason. It made it to that top it's got to be in the top three. It's in the top 300%. I don't know what the weekend Super Star Fox weekend cart selling for. I followed that. But excluding that, whatever that is, and the Donkey Kong Country weekend Super Cart, whatever. Excluding those games, I guarantee this one's in the top three. It might even be the number one spot. Let me tell you a little bit more about this game. Uh, those who haven't played the game, the control scheme is built around aiming when you're shooting and, dod and dodging when you're not. Press the fire, pressing the fire button once lets you um, 
do a melee attack. If, if enemies come close, you may have seen in the trailer, you punch a guy. Um, you can also throw weapons back. If an enemy throws dynamite at you, you can pick up the dynamite and throw it back at them. Uh, there's power-ups that you can get. There's secrets. you got to be shooting things in the background all the time. There's tons of hidden secrets. I think they, they, added, yeah, they added a lot of new hidden secrets, um, of course, with all remakes. They've added new uh, little bonuses and um, hidden things that you can unlock. Unlockables, I think, to unlock the Super Nintendo soundtrack. You have to beat the game without using any continues. And by the way, that's really freaking hard. This game was known for being really hard. But what's great about this game is you can know the, the two-player. If this game wasn't two-player, it wouldn't have been popular. I guarantee that. So it's easier with a friend, believe it or not. You can move around. You can jump. You can double jump. You can roll to dodge. Um, you're constantly trying to balance dodging while also trying to aim and aim your shots. Because you, it's... Not using no Xbox controller, you're not using no light gun. So you're kind of watching two different areas at the same time, especially if you're the dog. So the other piece of great retro gaming news is the Disney Afternoon Collection coming out, announced by Capcom, comes out April 18th. I'm not behind the ball on this. And as you know, Disney, or sorry, Capcom made some, all of, almost all of the best games on the NES. So this has got all of the best ones. Uh, DuckTales, DuckTales 2, Chippendale, Chippendale 2, Darkwing Duck, which is one of my personal favorites. It's starting to get the respect it deserves, but still, uh, it's a little bit under the radar. Still, it doesn't quite get the respect it, it deserves. And what's the last one? Tailspin, which isn't that great. So some people like to bash Tailspin, but... It's not that bad of a game, okay? If you look at all the bad games on the NES, that is one of the better games, believe it or not, despite its relatively low ratings. Yes, Capcom's not very good at making shooters. They never have been. They never will be. Uh, but it's still a great game. Pick it up uh, regardless. And, of course, um, all of the added features in here are going to be 1080p, unlockables, Time attack, uh, boss fighting mode, similar to the Mega Man Legacy Collection. They're adding in all of the, the stuff that you would expect to be in a re-release such as this. However, they're also adding another really cool feature, which is a mode where you... They're, they're adding save states, but they're also adding a mode where you can just reverse. Rewind what you just did and then redo it. So, so it's different from a save state because you can just instantly do it. See, they just did it in the trailer right there. He he died and he quickly rewind and then avoided that enemy. Uh, that's particularly good for people practicing for time attacks and speed runs and things like that. There, where they practice the same thing over and over and over, you know, a hundred times in a row without having to use save states, which would be a hundred times longer. To do and more tedious to do and wouldn't make it fun at all so this one's going to be i believe only 20 dollars um i believe which is dirt cheap by the way considering buying just ducktales 2 alone on the nes is uh what's that going for at least 300 us dollars right now at least i haven't checked it in a while because i own it i paid i think i paid about 250 250 for it maybe 225 when i bought it so check these out um, I would buy them, I think they're, at least with the Wild Guns, I believe it is a limited print. It's on, and it might end up being worth a lot of money one day if they don't print more. I've noticed the price go up since it was first released. And I think it's because the stock is, is dwindling down to its last bit. And it's, they're, I won't call them scalpers because clearly they, they, these guys got hundreds of copies somehow, but you can find them on eBay and Amazon, the price has gone up. I think it's going to continue to go up. So if you don't have a copy, pick it up. I'm going to put a link below. And if you want to check it out on PlayAsia, click the link. See you later.